So I know pretty much all my drawings turn out pretty phallic, but I promise you, that's not what I'm going for. What is up everyone, this is Jake, back with another video. Hmm. And today's video is my favorite kind of video, which is a sketchbook tour. I always like going back and looking to see, you know, my old art and seeing how it got better or worse. Usually worse. I have a really bad memory too, so I kind of forget what I've drawn. So going back and seeing it's kind of fun. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we do, as always, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought about the video or the art or any questions you have as some of the ridiculous stories behind this art. Most of the art in this book is either going to be for role-playing characters or it's going to be for dumb monsters from a card game I'm making. So it's all going to be pretty silly. Uh, but this first one right here was inspired by an episode of Rick and Morty uh, where Morty is a quado on, <laughs> on Summer's stomach. And if you don't know what Quado is, watch Total Recall. It's awesome. Open your mind. For some reason, I decided to draw a, like a big barbarian ogre thing with like a Quado on his stomach. I actually really liked how this turned out. The skin tone's really neat. I threw some extra green in there. It's like a, I don't know, like a like an under highlight or something. It looked really cool. I don't know why I did that, but it just looked neat. Ooh, next up, I've mentioned this one in a previous video. This is Hobo Cop. It's, I really want to make a comic book character based on this guy. <laughs> I just, I don't know why, but I was like, I thought of the pun Hobo Cop. Because that's how my brain, it just works in puns. Uh, the worse, the better. That's what I like. So, I thought of Hobo Cop, and I was like, man, this would be great. <laughs> but I have a whole backstory for him, and I love it. But that will be revealed one day in the future. But I really like how this guy turned out. Um, I've been, recently, I've been trying to, like, actually throw a little bit more backgrounds and stuff in my paintings. Uh, just really, really just light, abstract, kind of vague shapes of, like, you know, so I have, like, a, almost like a brownish city sky because of the city, you know, pollution. Got your buildings here, got your road, but nothing to distract away from the actual piece itself. Uh, this is this might be my favorite piece in the book, though, because I love this guy. But Hobocop's cool. He actually uses his finger to shoot, like, psionic blasts and stuff. Or maybe he just thinks that because he's insane. And this one's for when Akira Toriyama died. I don't know. I just, I, I drew, grew up Dragon Ball, grew up Dragon Ball Z, and I just absolutely loved him, and I loved his art style, and he was really, really a huge influence on me. Any kid that was a big nerd in, you know, the early 2000s, late 90s, I was in, you know, middle school, high school. I was into art. Man, you drew some Dragon Ball Z characters. That's all I did as a kid. I drew a lot of them. So, you know, I drew a picture of Goku taking him on up to to the afterworld. So, or under, well, I don't know what it's called. It's the afterlife. Whatever. But, rest in peace, Kira Toriyama. You were one of my heroes. And this guy, I'm not really sure. He's definitely from my card game. He just uh, was just a goblin, and he ended up having a peg leg. That wasn't the original idea. But I just wanted to draw a cool goblin with, like, a mohawk. And like lunging out for you. The perspective on here is a little wonky, uh, but I just want to do a little bit extra rendering, a little darker shadows. But I think it turned out pretty cool because you got that green character with that purple background. You know that's my favorite. Oh, next up, this one's good. Okay, this one's really, really stupid, and I love it. So look at this character. Okay, it's a baby, and he's like got this cool little spacesuit on. And he's shooting rockets. You know, rockets that blow up. His rocket's named Little Binky. So I want you to guess what the name of this is. I'll give you a chance. Okay, he's a baby. He shoots a rocket, rockets blow up, when rockets blow up, they go boom, it's Baby Boomer, so <laughs> as literal as it could possibly be, but I thought he turned out really cool, I love it, I love the disproportionate body size because children have huge heads, it's pretty funny, but he also kind of looks like Bobby Hill, so he's like a toothless Bobby Hill that shoots rockets, whatever, either way works. Oh man, okay, so this one, uh, I didn't love how it turned out, but I did love the name for it, so originally I was going to call it, uh... Uh, an oinktopus. I thought an oinktopus was kind of cool. But one of my co-workers suggested cephalopork, which I thought was a banging 10 out of 10 name. So this dude is officially named cephalopork. It's going to be a really cool character in the card game. Like I said, silly, stupid monsters. That's what I do. Oh, by far my least favorite. I kind of goofed on this one and just finished it anyways. It's called a knuckle sandwich. Whatever. It's, it's bad. I can't help it. Sorry. We're just going to skip this. Oh, and this guy. This is Lord Mater. This was a uh, one of the stupid things I would create as a kid, or these little stupid comic books. And one of them I made was called Stupid Wars. And Stupid Wars, uh, the, one of the main characters of it was Lord Mater, which I loved. I loved Lord Mater. It was just, it's exactly what you think it is. Um, but it's like all the, uh, the Stormtrooper-esque guys had buckets for heads. Uh, it's pretty funny. I actually kind of really want to redraw that comic because it was so dumb. Uh, but it'd be really fun to redraw this. But I love the way he turned out, though. I think he's really cool looking. He's like, oh, yes, come to the marinara side. I don't know. I don't. I gotta think of some good, like, tomato puns. I'm gonna throw a lot of those in there. Mmm, yeah. But I love Lord Mater. You'll see him soon. And this one, as you know, your boy loves stupid stuff. 
is probably the dumbest thing in here. So I had to draw this crawdad uh, for, or crawfish, whatever you want to call it. We call them crawdads here in Kentucky. Uh, we had to, I had to draw one for a t-shirt design. And I drew it and I was like, man, crawdads are just real weird looking. So I'm going to draw one myself. So I drew a guy named Clawdad. Notice he's got his watch on and his belt and his mustache. He's very business casual. He's very disappointed in you too. And it's really stupid, I know. But I also thought like I might give... Um, uh, each of my cards in the card game, like attacks like Pokemon has, you know, they have like different abilities and stuff they can use. And I thought Crawfee Breath was a good one. Yeah, I'm stupid and I love it. <laughs> but this guy was great. I thought he was really dumb. Oh, this little feller. I love him. He's probably, I realized I didn't have a lot of mushrooms in my card game and I love mushrooms. And I love anthropomorphic like food and stuff. So I thought I'd draw like a little bitty mushroom. He's a little thick on bottom, so he looks kind of penile more than anything. But that's not what I was going for, I promise. I know pretty much all my drawings turn out pretty phallic, but I promise you, that's not what I'm going for. Uh, this guy, don't have a name for it yet, like a, I think it was like Micah, I had Micah something, Micah, I don't know. My, I had the word Mike as Mike annoyed, whatever, I'll figure it out again. But yeah, so this is a cool little dude, I like him. Uh, colors I thought turned out really good on him. I noticed, I mean, obviously like any other any other drawing if you take your time with it boy it turns out way better and you can see some in here i really do not take my time with as ah, another really terrible one i had a concept for it and it was like it was called influenced uh it was just basically your brain being sucked out by a, a cell phone whatever it's it didn't turn out very good oh man she was definitely inspired by miss trunchbull from matilda your mommy is a twit but this is the crunch lady she slams you with her rolling pin that's what that's her that's a rolling pin attack so, uh, I like that a lot, though. She has, I like the little mole, the hair. But yeah, like I said, she's definitely Miss Trunchbull for Matilda. Uh, she was one of my, my biggest enemies as a kid, so. Because <laughs> I had several teachers that were just like her. Especially a bus driver. But yeah, that's, I like her a lot. I like how she turned out. Skin tones, man, I, I'm really happy with how my skin tones have been turning out. Uh, I just love the way it looks. I like them kind of abstracty and not super fine. Kind of messy. I love the look of the messiness. I think that's a really cool style. And I just like leaning into that sometimes. Ooh, this one I had it was a neat little concept too. I don't know how well I executed it, but I got some new paint. I was like, let's try out this new paint. Uh, but this is abstraction. So he's going to be like a secret agent spy, but he like hides himself as an abstract painting. Dumb, I know, but he's also going to be something that you can uh, you can play with in the card game. Very dumb, and so he fits right in. But yeah, this is abstraction. Also, it was just fun drawing abstract art. So I'd never actually done that before, so I thought it was kind of neat. Man, oh man, I love this dude. I forgot what his name was too, but it was like a... Was it belly, belly? It wasn't belly flop. It was, uh, damn it, I can't remember the pun. It was really stupid, and I loved it. It's, I, I thought of the pun and then drew the guy. I usually write it up here because I forget stuff, but I did not write this down. Anyways, if you can think of a good name for him, let me know down in the comments. You give me, actually, if you give me a name for any of these guys and it's good, I'll use it. So let me know down in the comments if there's any cool piece of art you like that you want to give a name to, and if I like it good enough, I'll use it. But yeah, this guy turned out really cool. Once again, just skin tones. I want to draw a guy that was just a big head with arms and legs. And he turned out pretty good. And he's, is he naked? Who knows? He may have a speedo on. You'll never tell because of his little goatee there. But I like the way he turned out. I love drawing stupid stuff. Every time my girlfriend sees this, she just laughs. And she's like, God, you draw the stupidest stuff. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I do. It's me. Oh, Billy Flop. That's his name. It wasn't a head pun. Billy Flop, which I thought was awesome. So <laughs> this is Billy Flop. <laughs> it's great. He's a wrestler. Oh, here's a twofer. So I have uh, two different ones. I, I noticed that I didn't have enough action cards and I didn't have enough item cards. So I'm trying to stick to them. I usually try to draw them two to a page because you don't have to have as much room for an action and an item card. But this is a meow, see? This is this card. So he's, you know, it's obviously a gangster. There may be a guy in a silhouette back there. There's a little boner, whatever. <laughs> I, do, I don't mean to draw wieners, they just happen. But this guy over here, if you cannot tell, this is a thumbrella. Don't know what this card's gonna be used for. But it was a really dumb pun I thought of, and I was like, well, I gotta use this. So, Thumbrella, and yeah, see? Oh, this guy's cool, too. This is, uh, it's not Zombie Dice, it's, uh, oh, Necronoma Dice. Necronoma Dice. I need to write these names down, because I'm gonna forget them all. But, had a kind of like a Necronomicon zombie face going on. It's gonna be a very cool item, let you reroll dice and shit like that. But, uh, yo, so Necronoma Dice. Love zombie skin. I love drawing, like, a green-tinted skin. I think it's real cool. Oh, man, and this guy's really cool. This is, uh, let's see... Hathagorius Dognathon. This is a this is an eldritch entity that comes from the Gorza gas station, which Gorza is my thrash band, is which is also incredibly stupid. Uh, but we have this whole theme that's a cosmic convenience store uh, that, that that this eldritch entity got trapped inside of this cosmic convenience. 
we have this whole backstory that it's this eldritch entity that gets caught in this co cosmic convenience store and then one day this band comes in there to get hot dogs and sodas and this is one of the monsters inside it I love it. <laughs> it's about this, uh, our mascot's going to be named Chug Ruckus, and he's going to fight off these entities. He's going to be the hero. It's very serious. It's very cool. Please respect my art. And this is one I did a video for recently, uh, a video in which I forgot to record the entire painting process because I forgot to unpause the video, because I am stupid. God, I'm so mad over that. <laughs> it infuriated me. But yeah, so he turned out really cool though. I liked him. I was really happy with how he turned out and I really was upset that I missed the whole painting process. I was looking at Krang on my wall and I was like, man, you know what? I want to do a Krang-like creature. But then I saw Bebop and I was like, oh yeah, Bebop's got those big tusks, like a boar. That'd be cool. And I was like, let's make him cyberpunk. So then I just drew a little thing on his head. That's how you make things cyberpunk. Give him a panel with buttons. Make some cyberpunk. But yeah, I like this guy. I'd figure out a name for him. Once again... If you can think of a name, drop it down in the comment. Comments. I'm stupid. Didn't have a lot of room on this page. Uh, for some reason, I wanted to draw a yellow-skinned Irish goblin. I don't know. He's wearing a kilt, and I just like he was yellow. But yeah, that's another guy. Uh, he's on the back of this page with this dude. But because uh, I had, to, I cut something out, and I think I used it for like a, a card for someone's birthday or something. Because I painted someone something. So that's what happened to that page. But I like this little dude. He's kind of cute. I like how he's holding his belly. Oh, I love this guy. Obviously, if you cannot tell, this is Pickle Dick. Okay, I draw a lot of penises. I'm sorry. I did not realize how many I drew. I think they're very funny. They're very funny looking, and they're funny to draw. Sorry. But obviously, this is Pickle Dick. So, he's a really fast-running pickle. So, <laughs> obviously, instead of doing Pickle uh, Rick, you know, the one that is copywritten, I did Pickle Dick and kind of gave him some hair that was similar to another character. But then, because he's really fast, I gave him Sanic Boots. So, yeah. So, I think I ended up naming it Quick Pickle Dick. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid, but I love the look on his face. He is furious, and he's also in the future, if you can't tell, with like the the, the sci-fi background and rockets and UFOs flying around. He ran so fast, he went into the future. And he's pissed. Oh, I like this one, too. This is Count Dracula. Because, mm -hmm. you know, dragon, vampire Dracula, whatever. I just thought it was cool. I gave him kind of like this eerie green skin. You know, kind of pale, because he's a vampire. Getting the blood in his face. He turned out really cool, though. I, I redrew him two or three times, and I just hated every sketch. So finally, I was like, I'm just going to break down, and I'm just going to paint him. So I inked him, and I painted him, and I was like, okay, I'm all right with it. Trust the process, y'all. you got to trust the process. Shit usually turns out way better than you think it's going to. But yeah, Count Dragula. Okay, so as you guys know, or you should know if you know my sense of humor, I love Drawfee. Drawfee's a great channel, and they have really stupid videos that I personally love. So they did a video one day where they had ChatGPT describe a character. And if you haven't tried to describe a character with ChatGPT, it cannot. So it was the people trying to draw the description. It was like a famous character. They were trying to draw a description of that character based on ChatGPT's description. Well, this was Garfield. It was wild how inaccurate it was. <laughs> it talked about his big fluffy tail. It talked about, um, I think it was like his long arms and his short body. But then it also said just fill in the features of the face. Like, it didn't give you any direction. It was cool. Well, yeah, it also talked about how he had a t-shirt with a, G, a big G on it. That's his most prominent feature. So, obviously, that's not Garfield. That is Gorlocks the Annihilator. He's going to be a very silly card in my game, too. So, <laughs> I like him. Gorlocks. Oh, this was very similar to him. So, this guy, if you can't tell who this was, it was the same video, and they were doing uh, Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. And it talked about his long neck and long arms and his big tail, and it was not even close. Talked about his armor, like... You could kind of guess who it was halfway through the description, but also you could never never have drawn him accurately with the description it gave you. So <laughs> this ended up being Froneck, a galactic beater. So yeah, no, he's throwing up peace signs. But that's how he lures you in with a false sense of confidence, and then pow, get you. Um, this one's dumb. I don't know what this is. Um, I think the original name I had was Slibrarian. It turned out really dumb. I don't know. It's like a book with a face. I don't know. I, I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and go turn the page. Ah, yes. Long John Silverware. This was a great one. I love this guy a lot. <laughs> I had this sketched out for a very long time. It took me forever to go ahead and paint him. But, man, I really like how he turned out. Uh, the, the fork and stuff I could have done better on. But, man, I really like his expression. I ended up loving the background, too. Pink sky at night, man. Sailor's delight. That's what it was. Or is that a pink sky in the morning? Should he be taking warning? You tell me down in the comments. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Because, you know, that helps interaction. Please do it interact. I actually haven't done a whole lot of RPG characters on this side of the paper. Uh, but this, for you who like the RPG characters, is Ozaya the Wanderer. 
He's my uh, character from my Fallout RPG I'm playing. He is a child of the atom, so he like worships the atomic bomb, and he he thinks radiations like radiated sites are like holy sites. So he's pretty cool though. So he thinks the best thing that ever happened in Fallout is the bomb dropped, so and it radiated the world. So, uh, but he's a really cool character to play. He's a uh, he's a pilgrim, and he's going on this big long journey, and he doesn't know why he's going, but he just knows he's got to go. And he, uh, my buddy, thought of this idea, so he had like a split uh, sign, like a split in the road. Uh, because obviously, you know, you split the atom. Like it was really good that he got me, man. I was gonna do a stop sign, but then he told me to do the split sign. That was perfect. So I liked the way he turned out, though, too. That's Oziah, big old guy. Uh, this one's okay. I didn't love how he turned out. Uh, this is Stabo the clown. Um, obviously, you can tell he's just a murderous clown. I don't know. <laughs> I like. I started out, dude. The first ninety percent of it, I hated. He got a little bit better towards the end, but I don't know. It just, uh, I don't know. I used some different paint on him, and the paint was really shitty. Like if you can't tell. It was real splotchy and stuff, but uh, I mean, he's fine. I don't hate him. I've, I've definitely painted worse. Like, uh, Knuckle Sandwich was terrible. Oh, man. Here is the outlaw Chili Doug. I love him, too. <laughs> Just a dude in a hot dog suit. Uh, this was also because of the Drawfee episode. I think they were drawing mascots for, like, a like a hot dog festival or something. But dude, so like I just drew a guy wearing a wearing a hot dog with a chili dripping off because that was something they did in the episode and I thought it was hilarious. So I was like, man, I need hot dog chili Doug. And also, he kind of looks like Woody from uh, Toy Story. <laughs> I made sure to give him the same clothes. But yeah, that's the outlaw chili Doug. Uh, these are two shitty ones. I didn't try real hard on these and I should have. Um, this one's a bait and switch. And this one is, I think it's contractual agreement. It says, I get what I want, but my soul is damned for all eternity. No takesies backsies. Signed by the devil and claw dad. See, I got some little, I got some, some mythos going on there. I got some interaction in the universe. Other cards we mentioned. See, I'm, I'm very clever if you haven't noticed. Very, very smart, very clever. Tremendously. <laughs> but yeah, these are, these are whatever. And the last one is Mr. Fister. I don't know why, I just wanted to draw a guy with huge fists, and I wanted to call him Mr. Fister. Even though he ended up looking more like a like a punk rock supervillain. So, I may change his name, who knows. But I do I do think Mr. Fister sounds really funny. But uh, I, I don't mind the way he turned out. Um, once again, I was using a different kind of uh, watercolor, so it was a little weird. I didn't really love how it turned out. Um, but one, I think I was also just rushing through it, and I wanted to get it done. But, which never turns out good, because there's some in here you can tell I put a lot of effort into, and they turned out way better. This was not one of them, but I liked them. Uh, but that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out and watching my stupid, silly uh, art here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought. If there's a particular one in here you want to go ahead and name, you give me a name. If you can think of a better one for Mr. Fister, let me know. I'm going to have to cut these out and uh, put them in a portfolio because my pages are about to fall apart so but yeah thank you all so much for watching i do really appreciate it and keep on drawing on later all